Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I'm taking a look at installing Ubuntu 14.04 onto the Intel Nook 5i3 RYH. Uh, this guide also applies to the various other Nook models that are available. Um, so it should also apply even back to the third and fourth generation models, but also to the higher end i5 and i7 fifth generation models as well. And the first thing that we can see here is that I've already prepared my USB stick uh, using UNet boot in. I've downloaded the 64 bit ISO for the Linux image and put it onto a suitable USB stick. And this is already and prepared to boot up in UEFI mode. So rather than using the legacy boot, we're using UEFI mode and installing to a M2, so a PCI M2 SSD not a traditional SATA SSD as you might use. So now what we want to do is just select a bootable device so we hit the F10 key to go into the boot menu and from here we're going to select the USB stick which will be listed as UEFI mode just there and by running that and selecting install Ubuntu now this is going to be a very easy install process um, we've got a clean unused SSD so it's as simple an install process as you can get. We don't have to worry about any partitioning. We can just allow Ubuntu to set that up on the defaults. So this will boot us into the graphical installer. From here, we just select language. Then I want it to download updates and install some of the third party codecs and other software. Then I want it to erase the disk and install Ubuntu with the default partition structure. Obviously, if you have an OS already installed, you may want to change that so that you don't overwrite your existing OS and other data. Um, but in this case, I just want a simple clean install onto it. Se selecting my language and location and now just filling in system name, username and all the rest. I'm not going to bother encrypting my hard drive on uh, my home folder on this one. I'm not too worried as it's just a machine I'm using for testing. But if we hit continue now, and what I'm going to do is just speed things up so that we can go through to the end of the process without waiting the full six or seven minutes it takes to install. And with the install complete now, all that's left to do is restart the system. And this should now just boot straight up and bring us back into our, well, bring us into our new Ubuntu install on our Nook. So as we can see, it's coming in on the bootloader. We should get the Ubuntu logo in a minute. In fact, the boot time is quick enough we don't even get that. Straight to a password, enter that. And hardware support as well, very good out the box. Uh, the 7260 wireless adapter was supported. Um, it's picked up the wired internet, e sorry, the wired ethernet connection. Um, and I used the graphical installer to get graphics drivers from Intel updated and installed and running through various 3D tests um like unigene heaven i hope you found this video useful and be sure to check out more of what we do on our channel uh, and if you want to keep up with what we're doing then hit the subscribe button thanks for watching